What's up everybody? Welcome to your fourth tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over one thing I forgot to go over last time and I'm also going to be teaching guys how to make transitions between uh, scenes in your movies. So the thing I forgot to go over last time is how when you mess up your title on the uh, uh, fading it in and fading it out how to just get rid of it so here we have the title right here and as you can see it says Myrtle Beach and if you remember from last video how we made it fade in we went go to the beginning go to zero then go about a quarter of the way go a hundred go about another way go a hundred then go out the end then go back to zero and what this does is make our title fade in show up and then fade out gently but say you accidentally made a keyframe right here and uh... you try to move it or you just mess all this up um... one thing you can do if you want to completely start over is right click anywhere in here and pick clear all keyframes that's what these little squares are called keyframes so if you clear all those as you see you get a brand new uh... line again you can start from brand new so uh... that's how if you mess up on your uh... trend i mean uh... fading in and fading out then you can start over again now the what i wanted to go over today was how to add transitions to your video now as you can see right now we have two scenes right here and uh... let me just play it real quick so you can see what they are right now let me just play this washer and dryer i didn't even realize it there and as you can see the as you can see the two scenes just kind of cut into each other with no transition or anything like that so what we want to do right now is make a transition so let's go ahead and let me show you how to do this. Go to your timeline between the two scenes. As you can see, this is scene one, this is scene two. You wanna first open your effects panel. And to do this, go down window, effects. And when you do that, if it's not already open, this little effects panel will open up and you wanna go to video transitions. Click on the, I mean the triangle facing the right. And you'll see a whole list of transitions. All of these under this are different transitions that you can use. Now I'm not going to go through them because there's about 80 million, but uh, I'm just going to show you guys one of the most basic ones. Dissolve, you probably will be using a lot, but for the purpose of this video, just so it's easy to see, I'm going to go to GPU transitions and I'm going to go to card flip. Now the process is the same with every transition, so pay attention. Once you find the transition you want, and these will be labeled with a purple square next to them, click and drag and bring it over to the video. And once you put it between your two scenes, you'll see it highlighted kind of. Then just let go. And if it says this, just click OK. They just give you a little saying it doesn't really mean anything and now you can see a little purple box in between your two scenes let me just zoom in right here so uh, you can see it a little easier now you see a little purple box and this marks the transition you can also adjust the size just like you're adjusting the size to make your transition longer or shorter now if we go and uh, play this we can see that we have a nice little transition and if you missed that let me play it one more time I didn't even realize it there. and instead of just cutting we this is uh... the way that we transition from one scene to another and of course if you want to get rid of it just right click it and press clear and if you uh, want to add another one again just click drag the transition and bring it in between your scenes and you can also adjust the size right here so that is how you add transitions between two scenes of a movie using Adobe Premiere Pro 
so study that and make sure you know how to do that and make sure from now on you watch all my videos in high def I'll have a link on the right hand side so thank you for watching I hope you learned something and uh, have a good day